ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of Mark Talks Football. And today, I have made a massive boo-boo. Um, I might have forgotten to record a game and just realised and played it. Skip forward. Now I can't go back. Apart from that, the form is shit. We are terrible. And I don't know what the fuck to do. In other news, help. <laughs> Please. <laughs> anyway if you haven't already please hit that like button smash that subscribe button as well make sure you stick around for more fm23 content and other videos coming your way as well so i can stop crying because i'm crying anyway <laughs> let me show you why i'm not happy <laughs> Right, as you can see, I'm looking at Sheffield United manager, former Manchester City under-21s manager and coach. But as you can see here, the last time I saw you, it's not gone so well. Beat Manchester United 2-0. Played really well in that. Two goals in the opening 20 minutes. Jackson went off injured. Bournemouth drew 1-1. Horrible. Drew 0-0 with Liverpool. Should have lost that. Lost 2-0 on the first leg against Man United. Deserved. Lost 2-1. Against Arsenal, full change team. Fine with that. Drew 1-1. Lost 3-1 overall in aggregate. Beat Fulham 4-2. Right, we were 4-0 up and I went for the toilet and I come back. I've made all the subs as I'm like, just going to play it out. And I come back and it's 4-2. Slight panic attack there. Yeah, this is the game that I said I was going to play. Slightly happy it didn't. Um, Bayern Munich, we got dicked. Um, I changed formation, conceded, but then scored two. I don't know what to do. We're now going against Bayern, uh, Borussia Dortmund, and then Sheffield United, and then we will be back to do what we did last season. We're out of the FA Cup, we're out of the Carabao Cup, and all it is now is trying to do something in the Champions League. Um, and I might have panicked and gone back to this. Yeah. We brought in a player. Ah, so players in and out. I haven't told you. You guys haven't been here. I thought I already showed you because I forgot to record. So Cascade has left. He has gone to Newcastle United for eighty one million pounds. Sixty five million up front and one point five million pounds per Premier League appearance. So we have recaptured money that we spent for him the first time. We paid 50 million, got 67, rising to 85 million. I brought two players in. I thought I did. I have. He ain't one of mine. That's Mark Bowen. Wilson, the backup, new backup centre back. He has got the potential to be one of the best players in the world. And capped under 19 at Brazil. Looks like a great player. Looking forward to it. And the replacement for Cascade is Jao Valeso um, from Benfica. Um, we spent... We got £85 million for Cascade. Only cost me £31.5 million. Pounds. Great British pounds. Um, and, yeah, it's okay. Let's have a look at the league table before we get to it. We are second. Game in hand over Chelsea. Only two points behind. We win that. We go back up top. So it's all about not fucking up. So we're at home against Borussia Dortmund. I'm going back to this formation because it's my tried and trusted and I get erections over it that it works. I know it doesn't work sometimes, but it does. And let's just hope that this works with this because we are three points in the Champions League, but we have to draw... To stay in without going in the playoff. That is a very heavy bottle. Right. Come on. Let's smash them. Borussia Dortmund. Chelsea goalkeeper. Young goalkeeper. John Mario. Ryan still there. Mukuku still there. Very surprised at that. Former Reading player he is. Might be good to bring him in, maybe. Oh, fuck off, John Stones is pissed off. 
as we see here, this is our formation. Connor Boyce Clark, obviously captain, bench there as well. But yes, we're winning this. I really hope so. I can't be asked. They're playing a 4 2 3 1. And now we're on the counter. Here we go. Johnny, Johnny Stones, Nets. In wide to release. Nice over the top ball to Nicholas Jackson. Cuts it across to Aziz. And there's his seventh goal of the season. Some play, he's dipped off a lot when we played him out wide. But ever since we've now changed it, two minutes in, we are 1-0 up against Borussia Dortmund. Which means that we should go up. Second in the table. There we go. Liverpool are running away with it in the Champions League. Drew 0-0 with them in the league. So, I'm okay with that. We just, I am so small down. Sit up, Mark, you twat. There we go. Harland, Harland. But yes, I am. See, with this, with this team, I don't, I can't improve unless we win titles or cups. And our reputation goes up. Because where we're at the moment, we're stagnating. And I know that we've got a big... Cuts through. He does well. Elise is there. Gives it 2-0. We need to be getting to finals of Cups. And we need to be going down to the wire of the Premier League. Our first season in the Premier League, we just lost out. Because we lost the last game of the season. And it was a three-way tie to the end. So it's very much... We need to be comfortable in the Champions League and in the Premier League for us, ignore my hair, uh, for us to actually be able to do stuff in the long run. So we're going to have to be stagnant in the signings we make and try and sell high for people we buy just for the time. Nick, he's offside anyway, so he's goal. If he's onside, that is the most incredible run I have ever seen. He fucking is. That is incredible, that run. Oh, that player there was playing him on side. All right. Nicholas Jackson makes it 3-0, first goal of the game, and he's also got an assist. He's actually turning up. He turns up in the Champions League. Fucking hard for him to turn up in the league. But that is all good. 3-0, half-time. We've just got to make sure that we can rotate formations. Maybe that might help us, give us an advantage, and change things up try and not be beaten by teams we shouldn't. Bruce Dortmund is smashing West Ham 4-0. West Ham look like they're going down to the Europa League. Kelvin, Joe, Nick over the top to Nicholas Jackson. I'm sorry, Miss Jackson. Ooh, I hit the post. Never make your daughter cry. Right, we're an hour in. Let's make changes. Ryan can come off for Gura. Joe can come off for Neves. Kelvin. Let's leave it at that for a minute. Let's make three changes. But yeah. Nanzino is now classed as a world class talent. John Stones is obviously going to be an excellent. Nets got three assists. Against Fulham, he did a great job. Nick is still Nick, it's just quality whenever we need him. And Elise was swings it around the back, doesn't get there. John Nevers is there to pick it up back out wide to Johnny Stones. John Nevers tries to find the line, doesn't Nick cuts it in, and Jackson's there, he's offside. This goal will not count. Told you, he was offside. If I could see it, then it is, but this is VAR. So who knows? But yeah, West Ham not doing very well in the Champions League. They need to be doing better. Chelsea need to be doing better. Liverpool have done well. Surely we have another team in here as well. Newcastle into the playoff as well. Manchester United are a very poor team in this game. But you have to do something terrible to let them do it. And we did. Omos can come on. Nick can come out for Gracia Molato. Maliti. McNulty. 
Right, 67% possession, 3 nil winners against Borussia Dortmund. Qualifies us straight in to the quarterfinals. The quarterfinal round of 16, then the quarterfinals, then the semifinals, and then the final. So, next episode will be the next round of the Champions League. Will be the round of 16. What we would do is, from now on, unless something spectacular happens in the league, we won't be going to the league just yet. We will be carrying on our investment into the Champions League. So when we get the Champions League draw, will be the next episode. Unless we're playing Chelsea um, or Liverpool or the teams around us in the league, we will not be playing teams like Sheffield United that much anymore. Um, because all, all of our concentration now is on winning the Champions League and winning the Premier League before FM24 comes out. And FM24 is coming out very, very soon. So we have to make sure that we can get this done very soon so we can get ready for FM24. As I say, we will find out the next Champions League in the next episode. So make sure you stick around for that and make sure you do it. But next up, we do have Sheffield United away from home at Bramall Lane. Right, and we are back and we are here against Sheffield United. Same team as we play Borussia Dortmund at home. We are away from home against Sheffield United. We're going to go positive because I want to smash them. I don't know why, but I want to smash them. And that's what we're going to fucking do. Do Harland, Harland, right? Uh, we owe Sheffield United. I think that was the first game of the season, wasn't it? You guys will know. It's been a while since I played this. <laughs> Zoom out a bit. Here we go. We're now on the counter attack. Femi Aziz going down the right. Cuts it back to Kelvin, to Nick, to Elise, back to Aziz, in through to Jackson, 1-0 to the Royals. Because we're the Royals, we will fight till the end. Because we're Royals. Lovely through ball there by Aziz to Jackson. Thirteen minutes gone and nothing has happened since the goal. I'm all right with that, but also not. Come on, lads, let's fucking get into them, shall we? All right, Sheffield United on the attack, but Kelvin Nunzinho to Stones. Johnny, Johnny Stones. Ryan over the top to Nicholas Jackson. I'm sorry, Miss Jackson. Ooh, I am for real. Never make your daughter cry. We are winning to near. Sorry, Miss Jackson. Eee! Two nil to the Royals. Lovely out wide to Kelvin. Sits out wide now, running through Aziz is there. Pass back to Elise. Tries to do another pass back to Kelvin. Gets intercepted. Now Sheffield United get intercepted by Elise and here comes Nets over the top to Jackson. Crosses it to Ryan. Gets tackled. Penalty referee. Nope. Swings it back across to Ramsey. Former Royal that we had. Aziz wins it back into Kelvin. Kelvin gets a deflection there off the Sheffield United player. This is going to be a goal and I don't know who for. Sheffield United run through. Goal and it's for them. Yancy Ad Adil. Gets the goal. Makes it 2-1 to sh to Reading. But with this game, this is the game in hand that we have. We have to win this to make sure we go top of the Premier League. Swings our right to Stevens. Stevens down the line. Does well there to Kelvin. Does well. Now here comes Connor Boyce Clark. Stones. Nets to Ryan. Ryan over the top to Femi. And he gets it. He wins it. Great save there by Gunn to keep it at 2-1. Elise is there, ready to take the corner. Swings it in front. Person and Zinia is there, but great save by Gunn. Straight at him, really. Eight shots, seven on target. Love that. Love to see that. 
Good play here so far from the Royals. As you can see, we now go top of the league, one point ahead of Chelsea. That's what we need. Nets, here we go, Stones. Ryan, lovely touch to go away from the defenders. Nets, Stones, lovely passing around. Through to, sorry, Miss Jackson. Ooh, I am for real. Never make your daughter cry. Ah, ah, ah. Love that, but I just put myself up my nose and it hurt. Over the top, Elise leaves it to Jackson. Chips him, Dinky McDinkson, to make it 3 1. We're gonna win the league, we're gonna win the league, and now you're gonna believe us, and now you're gonna believe us, and now you're gonna believe us. We're gonna win the league, we're gonna win the league. Not getting ahead of myself or anything. I just knocked my screen down as well when I was banging. Hey, <laughs> that's what she said, dirty slut. Come on then, hat trick hero Nicholas Jackson, third minute, 25th and 46th. Love it. Now we got to get a goal difference up. Remember, Chelsea are six goals ahead of us. I think it is Ryan back out, cuts back to Nick, cuts back to Joe Vazelios, and over the top. Unlucky there from the player, integrating himself into the English Premier League line from the Portuguese league. 31.5 million, by the way, for a midfielder who slots in beautifully. Is rare as rocking horse shit. How the hell have Tottenham lost to Leeds? Leeds is 7th, Tottenham are ninth. Harry Kane. Right, 69th minute. Jackson's going to come off. He's done his job. Femi Aziz for Oscar Pardara. Jal Nevers for Michael Elise. And Kelvin for Brian Murphy. That will do us for the time being. Up until the 80-something minute. We're going to win the league. So now you're going to believe us. Ryan switches it over. I'm lucky there. John Neves, great save by Gunn. Straight at him, really. Long ball over the top, goes past Nazinho, but he was quick enough to recover. And here we go, on the break again, Ryan over the top to Bobbe. And Bobbe's got his goal, 20th goal this season. Nicholas Jackson's on 21 or 22 now. We have got a strike pair here that will do any league. I'm not looking forward to the Champions League, though, because he got dicked by Dortmund. Right, let's make one last change. Bring Nick off for Garcia McNulty. Oh, and also as well, Elise was subject to a £50 million bid from Tottenham, which was rejected by more. I'm not selling him. Unless you come up with £100 million. Bobbe, Jal Neves, Ryan, through to Oscar Pereira. Great save there by Gunn. Can we get another goal? We've got a minute left. Stevens, Ramsey smashes it out of play. It is our throw in. I think this is all down to ticking down to the final whistle now. They intercept it. Stevens to Adil. Balmer over the top, but Murphy's there to intercept. Nanzinho, Connor Boyce Clark. Stones, and there it is. There is the win. We win 4 1. Happy. Very happy with that. Well done, lads. That is excellent work. So let's have a look at the league table just before we go. And that means we are now top of the league. Chelsea have a three goal, better goal difference than us. But we could be getting our Premier League title this season. We will have to wait and see. With that, thank you guys ever so much for joining me today. My name's been Mark. You guys have been absolutely amazing. We love with care. Uh, peace.